condenser mics and some devices like direct boxes require a power source in order to operate. This power source can be supplied by batteries, or it can come from the mysterious phantom power. Phantom power can be supplied by your mixer or by recording devices that have mic preamps. Depending on the device, the phantom power switch may be labeled phantom power or with some engineering geek speak like 48V. They use 48V because phantom power is supposed to be 48 volts DC, even though sometimes it's a little less than that. And it's called phantom power because in balanced audio devices, 48 volts positive is applied equally to the two power wires. Then, one of those signals is inverted, and when the signals are recombined, which is the balancing part, the voltage is completely canceled out. Thus the term phantom power, because it disappears on the other end. As always, check out the videos What is Balanced and Balanced Cables for information on what balanced is. And to dispel any myths, phantom power can be safely applied to any microphone, except ribbon mics, and won't harm balanced audio devices connected with balanced cables. On mixers, phantom power is only applied to mic inputs, so just turn the phantom power on for all the channels on your mixer, and devices that need it can use it, and devices that don't need it won't be affected by it. But here's why I don't like adapters. If you try to connect a line level device, like a keyboard, a DVD player, or your iPod, to a mic jack by using adapters, phantom power can blow up the device. So be careful. I'm Greg Hill for AV Genius.